Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we are going to do a tutorial. This is going to be part two of my how to use auto drive series. I apologize for the delay in it coming out, but if this is what you are looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, as I mentioned, this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one, I recommend doing that first. Part one will cover just the basics of setting up a simple one direction or two direction route. Today, we are going to look at, this one's gonna be probably one of the shorter ones. We're just gonna look at how to add routes to existing routes. So add another route to an existing route or connecting existing routes to each other um, or anything like that. We're also gonna go over a couple of other uh, features of AutoDrive that I should have probably mentioned in the first video, but we're gonna go over in this video. And this is gonna kind of, we're gonna kind of gear this as we're gonna use what we're gonna do in this video to set up for the next auto drive part, which will be part three. And that will be how to uh, essentially transport and sell products. So like example, we'll show you how to pick up a product, wheat in our example, with that tractor and trailer there and deliver it to that sell point that I created over there. So it'll teach you how to do that using auto drive. So that'll be what we'll go over next. Now, obviously that's not a very long path, but all of this is applicable if you make the path bigger. So let's go ahead and start off. So first off, center click on the mouse button if you're on PC, which I don't know if this is on consoles or not. I do not know, but anyhow, sorry, I digress. So center click the mouse button to get a cursor up here. Over here, we're gonna click this button, which is the edit and it's gonna bring up. So I have a very basic path here. So part of, in order to get it over to the store, what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to make this route, which comes this way. If you see that, we're going to have to make it so it can kind of break off and set a point over here called silo where the trailer will be able to pull under to pick up stuff from. So what you can do if you want is you can. So there's two ways to kind of do this and we'll actually do the first one here over here, we'll show you the kind of the first way, cause that's a little small area over there. Let's say I wanted just a loop around this field for some reason. So do you see where the cursor's at there? I can turn on my mouse button and down here, I can left click once. It's a right click if you want to record two way, but I'm doing a one way route and it'll start a one way route off this way. So now if I want to do this, I can make a one way route and let's say I want to connect it back up over here. I can stop and I can hit left click again to stop recording and it will stop recording. Now let's say I want to connect this to that guy there. I'm going to hold down left control and it'll pull up these dots. So I was saying you can drag these points around, which you should be able to still maybe, oh, you right click and drag them around. There we go, I was left clicking. Um, so what you can do if you want is left click on this one, it'll turn green and then the arrow will go for the direction you're going to click towards. So if I want to make the arrow go this way from this one to this one, I'll left click there and then left click on that point and it makes an arrow that direction. Now, if I want to get rid of that, I can just delete that waypoint there. So now let me reconnect it. This guy, oop, whoops, my bad. It's hitting the wrong buttons here. There we go, okay. So hold down left control. Um, and what I can do, I can drag this closer if I want. And then um, I can hold down left control, left click here, and then left click there, and then I'll connect those two. Now, if I want the route to go the other way, I would left click here and then left click over here to make the arrow go that way, but we're not gonna do that um, like that. So, um, and I'll delete that waypoint. And by the way, I'm just hitting this button to delete and it's gonna delete whatever's highlighted with the red cursor. So be aware of that. Okay, so let's connect this guy up. Oh, geez. I think it created a waypoint out there. Yeah, definitely did. Let's go see if we can't get rid of, I don't know where that one went. Yeah, there we go. Highlight that guy, delete those guys. I have no idea how those got created. Okay, come back over here, hold down. Uh, left control again. Let's go ahead and drag this guy just a little bit closer. And then I'm gonna left click, left click, connect those two, left click, left click, connect those two. So I got them all connected up. Now, what we're gonna do over here is gonna be a little bit different. So if we drive over here, this is kind of a fine route. So I don't really wanna have to record that. That's just kind of hard for me to get be able to navigate the truck exactly how I want it. So if I hold down left control, I can now click and just add waypoints this way and it'll connect them together kind of like that. Um, and now I can connect these and so I can left click, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click. And now we have a route around there. So that's how I did it. I just, if I just wanted a point over there, I just click it, left click. So that's how you can create points, uh, which is pretty nice. Now I need to add a point over there for it to be called the silo. So let's go ahead and get a little bit closer, get that highlighted. 
there we go so that's the point i actually i want yeah i think i'll use that one as a silo that one will be good so over here i'm gonna hit create target so i'm gonna put silo type in silo hit enter to create and there's the silo point so now that's in set that one is set up okay so next thing we are going to do is come over here and we're going to create the route around here so we're going to add to this addition this this existing one and this one i'm going to do with the pickup truck so that's the point i want to record off of so i'm going to hit record it'll start recording i'm going to drive keep driving and then now this is the cell point, so I'm just going to do kind of right over top of it. There, there's a point down there. I'm going to hit this, and I'm going to hit cell point. And you can name it whatever you want. Like if it's the, you know, whatever whatever the cell points are on whatever map you're playing on, you can name it those. Now I'm going to drive around here, and I'm going to want them to kind of start turning this way. So I'm going to start right the route back to here. And I'm going to left click to stop recording. I'm going to move out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to click, connect those two up. So hold down left control, left click, left click. Now those guys are connected. So the route is set up. So this pickup truck, if I set them to go to go to either the cell point or the silo, if I hit silo and hit power to go, it's going to take me to the silo. It's set up to do that. So here we go. It's going to take me around there. If I switch this and change it to cell point, then hit the power button again. Oh, we'll hit it twice. Hit it once to turn off the previous route and then turn on the next one. So now, instead of going around to hit the silo, this is a faster route. So it's just going to bypass that. And now it's going to head over to the cell point. So essentially, that's how you're going to add different waypoints and different stuff. It kind of gives you a lot more control over what you can do. And let's say we turn this guy off. Let's say we want to delete this little weird route over here because I really don't like it. Um, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So coming over here, we have this set up. We're gonna go ahead and hit um, this point right here. Make sure it's highlighting some of this route. It'll always do the closest one. So we don't wanna, that one's still good. So we'll hit delete, delete, delete. Be careful, now I don't wanna delete that one. So I'm gonna drive over here to get closer to these waypoints. And now I can hit delete again, delete, delete, delete. And there, now we've, we've cleared out that section there. Now, if I want to too, you can save this. So you can hit save and I can save this as route um, one. And we're on the no man's land map, so we'll do that. No man's land. And then I can hit save, and it will save that route. So if I pulled up a new save of no man's land, I should be able to open this up, and I should be able to load up my route, which it'll have whatever route is on the map that you're on there. Make sense? Okay, so that's how to save as well. So that's pretty much all we're going to cover in this video. The next one, we're going to go over how to deliver, and we may keep going from that, okay? All right, guys, this has been Farmer Cop. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen and join the channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. Again, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you, and thank you for watching.